another year, another epic Invictus Games. And it really doesn't get much better than rocking out with Bruce Springsteen and Byron Adams. The two rock veterans came together on stage to perform a 10-minute version of Badlands and Cut Like a Knife. And you know you've probably done a pretty decent job when Prince Harry bows down to you. Actual Prince Harry bowing down Ontario native Brian Adams kicked off celebrations with a rendition of one of his most welcoming hits, Summer of 69, before introducing to the stage a friend of his. That friend just so happened to be the boss himself. What a great friend to have. It's great to be part of this Invictus Games, Brian said. I want to thank Prince Harry for having the incredible courage to put it all together, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring back the boss Bruce Springsteen. Actual Bruce Springsteen. The pair impressed Prince Harry so much that, as he came out to join them on stage to close the ceremony, he took a second to raise his arms and bow humbly to the rock legends. A lot of you said to me last year you wanted Bruce Springsteen and I tell you what, we got him. Harry gushed to the crowd after the pair left the stage. Both of them flew all this way for one night for all of you. Harry was also seen throughout the games chilling with his girlfriend Meghan Markle, and he even shared a kiss with the Suits actress at the closing ceremony. Prince Harry, 33, also hugged Ms. Markle, 36, in the VIP box, and then met her mum Doria Radlin, who was sat with them. The Invictus Games finished on a high with the closing ceremony after 550 athletes from the armed forces competed for medals across the week. More Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have finally been pictured together More Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have first public kiss during Invictus Games closing ceremony, 